found some really interesting rocks under this white clay. And here is the rocks under here. Um, here's a big rock that I pulled out and there's more under here. But here's what it looks like. Check it out. It's, um, it, you know, it's, uh, I'm trying to get in. Which, where's the freaking, there it is. So, let me try to get this in focus here. Come on, focus. But it has a lot of really interesting colors and it looks like it has iron. It makes me even think it's a meteor, right? And it, it was located under a bunch of white clay. And the interesting thing, there's some more of it up here, here. This, it, it's kind of like, let me move my glove out of the way. Sorry. You know, this stuff is kind of like, um, like a soapstone. You can see how dark it is in here. Um, and it's so easy. Here I was, just to show you how easy it is to, um, to carve. I was actually playing around with the shovel. And it, you can see, you can see the, you know, the shape that I was able to, you know, chisel out. Here's a little, really easy, just with my shovel, the, the, the lines in it there. That's just me playing around for like, you know, a couple minutes shaving this stone. Um, so it's kind of like a soapstone. Here's a big old piece right here. Big old, which I'm going to, I'm going to carve into something. I've always wanted to carve you know, stone sculptors, you know, I'm a bit of an artist. So I'm going to look at this and figure out what it's going to be. Maybe a turtle or something. And I'm going to see if I can um, carve a Michael Trout. And I've got smaller pieces here, you know, um, that all of this stuff looks like an an a head of an animal that I can carve out or something, a snake's head or something. So I don't know what this stone is. Um, there's more of it that I'm digging up here and you can see how far it is down here. You can see the layer of white clay that I dug through and then I hit it. So it's really strange. I've got this white clay, I've got this ashy stuff over here. It's nearly like an impact. You know, now I'm starting to think maybe this was an impact crater, you know, at some point. And the ash and stuff was a uh, part, you know, part of it. There's another big, I'm gonna check out that rock over there. There's another rock, if that's part of it. Um, if that's soft or not, but it's kind of like a soapstone. It's really interesting as you can see it obviously has iron in it right um, And you can see the uh, You know the the, the granular uh, Nature of it I'm trying to get you know, I'm not very good with this iPad here. Sorry. Come on down 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 Well hell Where's the camera? Right here. Okay. So, try to focus in on this. Sorry about that. But you can see the the particles in here, the dark stuff in there. You know, it looks like iron ore. I don't know. This is a part of clay. You know, is it is it clay that's become, you know, uh, rock? I don't know, is that such a thing that clay becomes rock eventually? I don't know. So, interesting fine, you know, doing permaculture, you never know what you're going to find. And this is, you know, I've rarely ever found any stone, so this is the only place I've found stone. A little bit here and there, not a lot, but um, digging out some swales and discovering stone, interesting stone, you know, makes for an interesting afternoon. A multi knife farm. You know, I learned recently that there's the holy mountain. There's three holy mountains, and I don't know if you can see it over there, but there's the holy mountain that you can see from the farm here. So it's over there. I can zoom in over there. I don't know if you can see it up there. But there's a mountain over there, the holy, the third holy mountain. It's not that one there, there's one beyond it. Uh, where those trees are, right above, above those trees, the highest trees there, there's a mountain covered with snow. So here I am at Multi Knife Farm, digging away, having fun, digging up clay and interesting stones, and uh, just having a grand old time.